<clears throat> oh, didn't see you there. Hello and welcome back to the Ails and Fails Twitch stream. I'm your host, Alewolf, otherwise known as Ails, Gentleman Streamer, Beer Goggles 21, Mama Ails, Baby Boy. And welcome back to the stream, and more importantly, welcome back to Thursday. It is indeed November. Remember, remember the 2nd of November. Um, yeah, I think we sur we all survived Halloween. Please check yourself for wounds and uh, lacerations. But I think uh, I think we all made it, and I think we are all the better for it. Hopefully, some nice, delicious candy in our belly. But yes, we have moved on to the end game of the year, as I like to call it, the holidays. Uh, things coming up, such as uh, Thanksgiving and all the holidays. So here's hoping that you have some fun plans ahead of you at the end of the year. I myself have the plan to uh, do everything that I am doing right now except maybe work a little less. So here's hoping that that actually happens. Uh, I have to start the stream off by suggesting an apology. I am horribly late. And uh, you know, imagine that a uh, streamer says, says that they are late. Uh, that never happens. Uh, I'm not really going to go into the details of things, only to say that it is it is difficult to go from not streaming to streaming. Just just the level of preparation, the things that you have to put together to make sure that everything is as it needs to be before you hit that uh, stream button. It, it can be a little bit daunting. All that and all to say that I also had an optical appointment this morning with a new eye doctor. And of course, the first thing that happens when you see a new eye doctor is they want to do every single test in the book um, before they simply give you a prescription. And of course, my uh, they decided to dilate my pupils. And my pupils are actually still dilated. So if you, if you see me squinting every once in a while, it's not because I am uh, confused and elderly, as I am, but rather because my eyelids, uh, sorry, my my irises happen to be dilated. Irises, iri, I'm pretty sure it's irises. So yeah, that's uh, that's the reason why I'm number one late and the, the second reason why I'm blind. But of course, uh, you know, this is a special occasion. Right now, you tuned in and you're thinking to yourself, hey, why isn't this guy playing uh, Mega Man Zero? What happened with that? Uh, and you know what, uh, as much as I uh, have been struggling in Mega Man Zero, I would love to be playing that right now, but I am not. And the reason for that is because I am in the middle of a grind-a-thon. I am grinding E-Crystals, and if I were to play Mega Man Zero right now, that's literally what you would see me do. I would just be grinding E-Crystals. Uh, and that's because I want to make sure that I've got as many Cyber Elves fed and equipped before I go into the last part of that game. So I won't be playing that for maybe one, two weeks. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna start on a new retro game and that's Link's Awakening for the Switch. Now, this is not really retro, uh, but it is kind of retro. It's a retro game because uh, this game originally came out for the original Game Boy. And actually, it happened to be my first Game Boy game, which is uh, different from a lot of people's stories. Every time you hear about somebody playing with their old Game Boy, they talk about how they used to play the packing game, which was Tetris. I adopted the Game Boy a little bit later on when they were packing it in with uh, Link's Awakening. Um, and I probably have to thank my mother for that selection because she knew I was very much a Zelda head at the time. Uh, not to discourage any Tetris fans, but uh, it's not really my cup of tea. Uh, you're not going to see me play Tetris here. Maybe that Tetris 3D that has like laser lights and things like that. That one looks like a good time, but not any of the regular Tetri, Tetrises, Tetri. Um, so yeah, we're playing Link's Awakening. This is the first time that I've actually played the Switch remake. I got it as a gift, I think last Christmas or maybe two Christmases ago. It's been that long and I've never played it. So this is gonna be my fresh take on an old classic, a game that I played several times as a kid. I haven't played it over in over a decade. I wanna say probably even more than that. And I'm gonna play it on the Switch. So this should be a fun, fun experience, I think. Uh, hopefully you think so too. Uh, but that's enough chatter. Let's, uh, let's get down to business. And of course, by that, I don't mean actually play the game, but actually talk about what's on tap because it wouldn't be the Ails and Fails Twitch stream 
without talking about ales. And today we don't have an ale, we have a lager. This is something that we've had before. This is Rocktoberfest, which is a German lager, or at least a German lager inspired beer. And it's actually a fest beer. Uh, let's see. With Weiermann Bark Pilsner Munich and Kara Munich malts. So what exactly is is a lager? You might be asking yourself. Uh, you're like, oh, all beer is beer. What, what are you talking? What is this crazy taxonomical denomination you've just come up with? Well, let me tell you, friend. There's two main types of beer. There's ales, after which I was named. My my mother named me ales, and then there's lagers. Now the difference, the main difference between ales and lagers is generally in the way that they are made. While ales happen to be top fermenting, they uh. The yeast actually ferments at the top. Uh, lagers tend to have their yeast ferment at the bottom of the tank. Um, what that does is that it makes it so that less of the yeast-like compounds that you would expect in a beer are actually go to the bottom of the vat, making it a crisper, lighter drink, certainly more approachable than, than your conventional ale. Ales tend to be a little bit more robust and more complex with their flavor, which is not to say that lagers are not delicious because they are. Uh, a lot of my best friends are lagers. Um, the other, one other difference there is that lagers tend to ferment at a slightly cooler temperature, more like refrigeration temperature, whereas ales tend to be like a cool, like basement type, cool room type of uh, fermentation. You can take that to the bank if you will. Now, as for an Oktoberfest beer, well, this thing calls itself a fest beer, but let me let me simply talk about Oktoberfest beers, which are known as Marzen. Uh, and the reason why they're known as Marzen in Germany is because they're generally harvested in March. March as in Marzen. And you generally have them ready by the time Oktoberfest rolls around, which is like mid to late September. Uh, and that's, of course, the world-renowned uh, yearly beer festival that they have in the region of Munich uh, in Germany, hosted by the six traditional Oktoberfest breweries. Uh, one of my favorites being Paul Anner, of course. I did attend exactly one Oktoberfest uh, in my life, which automati automatically makes me a beer expert. No, it doesn't. Uh, but I sure wish I could go back. Uh, so Oktoberfest beers uh, tend to be classified into two, two routes. The traditional Oktoberfest, which is a little bit darker, maltier, uh, more caramel flavor, and the Fest beer, which is a little lighter. I feel like they're kind of like um, uh, like gradients of the same type of beer. They, uh, they are brewed with traditional hops. They're largely brewed using uh, Munich-specific malts. Uh, they're light, they're flavorful, uh, they're crisp because, of course, they are lagers. Uh, and they have a very traditional beer flavor. Uh, I could say a bit more or I could say a little less, but uh, let's go ahead and see what Untapped has to say on the matter. And of course, this is not a German beer per se, rather a beer made by American brewery Almanac uh, using a German preparation. So 5% 5% alcohol by volume, which makes this a fest beer. Generally, fest beers tend to be less alcoholic or less alcohol by volume uh, than true Oktoberfest beers. Now, this is a German style lager brewed with Weiermann Bark Pilsner, Munich, and Kara Munich malts. Light and toasty, this classic German style fest beer knows how to party. This traditional fest beer is brewed with authentic German barley full of rich toasted malt flavors with a light body and refreshing crispness. It's a party in a can and it just might make you dance your arsh off. Thank you very much for censoring yourself. This is indeed a family stream. So uh, that was a lot, a lot of detail there. If you're not familiar with the German flavors, some of this might fly uh, right off the top of your head. Uh, but suffice it to say, it's like very delicious uh, uh, European bread in, in, in uh, liquid form. Let's go ahead and taste this guy. And uh, let's see if it indeed is a party in my mouth and everybody is invited. Alright, let's pour this gent. And it is a yellowish orange. I want to say maybe like an orangish more orange than yellow. And 
and there we go. There's uh, some slight sediment there, but I can only assume that that's simply from the can storage. Uh, it's got a very light head, which is what you might expect from most lagers in terms of a nose. Some light breadiness to it, a little toast there. Uh, some slight caramel notes. Fang a nail, dear viewer. And sweet, gently sweet. Again, light in flavor. Very little in terms of hop content. Generally, when I drink a German lager, I expect slightly more of a rich, uh, bitter character to it, but not like bitterness, like dank, but more like bitter steel, um, if that makes any sense to you. Again, very light. I would say one out of five in terms of body composition. I think the, the thing that sticks out the most to me is the malt flavors, which are actually quite sweet. I wonder how much of this Munich malt is actually just a very sweet Munich malt. And yeah, mostly caramel flavor. Um, a little roundness there. I feel like it's almost muted and subdued. It does have, it does bear that um, uh, standard for like a German lager style beer, but I feel like it should have a bit more of a bite. I think that they decided to make this a little more accessible, shaved away some of the hop character, uh, and kind of just made it a little juicier, which is fine if that's what the way that you want to go. But uh, I certainly expect something a little more whenever I drink something like this. Uh, let's go ahead and rate this. Uh, three stars is probably a good a good pick right here. And no, thank you. Let's go ahead and update our ticker here, and we shall be on our way back into the the aisle of Koholint. Can can I get a spell check on that, Siri? Co Koholint, Koholint. Koholint. All right. So that's enough of that. I think you've heard me uh, rail on enough. Let's go into the game. Let me... Jeez, that is loud. Okay. Maybe... Maybe that's good. Maybe that's okay. And welcome to the stream, Falco Forte, Adam Cop Copeland, Copeland. Wait, are you talking about Edge? Uh, how are you doing, by the way? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to ask. But yeah, like I like I was saying, um, indeed, this is my first time playing this game on this platform. Let's check out some of the differences. I think it was kind of a neat opening animation that they did there. And of course, uh, that's Marin waking up Link. Oh, when I did the spell check, it sounded like I was saying Copeland. No, so it just so happens to be the case that the island featured in this game is called Koho Lint, K O H O Lint. Uh, so I've never known how to actually pronounce it. But I like the Isle of Copeland. That sounds good. Not that we know any uh, particularly uh, notorious Copelands. Alright, so totally new game here. And I think maybe one of the things that we're going to try to prevent is uh, saving after a death. Uh, because I know that if you, at least in the original game, if you beat the game without actually dying, you get a special ending. Yes, I, I agree. I agree, Falco. All right, let's do this. Uh, I am a normal. I am now not a hero. Uh, Link is good, but let's go with my real life name. What's in my driver's license? Tails. I wonder if it's actually going to play the intro again. No, it's not. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, indeed, it is, it is uh, kind of an odd choice that my mother made um, at the hospital, uh, Ailes. <sighs> what an unusual backstory. What a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? <laughs> no, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on, see there you are. You are on Koholint Island. Now tell me, how do you pronounce that? Uh, follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area. So be careful, okay? Alright, let's be careful. Is this a stand for something? It says Goomba. And I guess it makes sense that I can only walk very slow right now. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you since you watched the show. Lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful. Yes. It's weird, it sounds like you pronouncing it with a silent T. So so would the proper pronunciation be Koholin? <laughs> what are what are we even saying? What are we doing with our lives, Falco? Is this a stand for something? It says piranha plant. And of course you can't really lift this thing. Oof, it looks heavier than heavy. Your current strength won't cut it. Lies, lies. Well, Ailes, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Taren. Taren. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. And look at that, you got your shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. There we go. And if uh, we know anything about uh, old Ailes, is that he does love his shields. Hey, what are you doing in my chest? Where'd you learn to do such a thing? That almost sounds naughty. Let's check the menus here. I, I, I guess I haven't really checked the menus yet. So the layout is a little, seems a little bit more streamlined uh, in comparison to what it used to be back in the Game Boy days. There cer certainly seems to be more weapon slots. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Huh, so this is gonna be filled out with stuff. Shield, subscreen, confirm. Pretty basic stuff. And of course I'm playing with the Pro Controller, which is both great, but sometimes not great for some, some things. <clears throat> so I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Let's make like a tree and get out of here. Of course, right now we don't have a sword, which means that we can't really attack anything. But we can lift chickens, or as uh, they like to call it in this game, cuckoos. Cuckoos? Let's go with cuckoos. One nice thing about this new game is that I guess there's no screens anymore. Everything is like a connected world. Let's uh, let's do some exploring. There's a fox. Doesn't really do anything. Here sleeps the flying rooster. And of course, there's a chained chomp. Just like wild boy churro. Everyone should keep at bay for their own safety. <laughs> ho ho ho, my Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. Quite surprising when you consider that these things are made of pure metal. Well, and I guess I did post a question of the night tonight. Do you have lucid dreams? Uh, and of course it's because uh, this game, uh, well I guess I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, 
It does deal a lot with dreams. I think in my memory, I've had exactly two, maybe even three lucid dreams, and I only vaguely remember one of them. And I specifically remember realizing mid-dream that it was a lucid dream, and when I started to have, try to have fun, I, I, I woke up. So, uh, no lucid dreams for me, I guess. Hey man, when you want to save, hit up the system screen. You get there by opening the substream with the, uh... Okay. Uh, don't ask me what that means. I'm just a kid. No, I, I totally mean. Uh, kids often dispense advice as to how to control uh, your UI. When you walk up to them. Of course, this is the item shop. Hey, welcome. See something you like? Just bring it here. And this is just hearts. We need to get a shovel at some point. Oh, and they have a piece of heart here, which is good. Can you let me decrease the sound of my mic just a bit? All right, much better. And you know what? I, I think uh, I think the game doesn't really open up until you get your sword, so I might as well just go ahead and do that. Lest I just shield bash everyone to death. Uh, what is this? A conventional phone? Bring, bring. Hello, it's me. Olrera. Olrera? Olrera. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. You know, there is a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Talk to you later. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. Let's head there. an old lady sweeping of course yahoo i'm fine and you nah, i'm all right there have been better days better days better ales oh, and this is old man already already of course uh oh uh, hmm. how to say please call outside seems that old man already is a shy guy in person that's kind of a kind of a neat concept because these days, number one, nobody takes or makes phone calls. But the idea of you being shy in person versus your persona in a phone um, seems a little bit backwards. And I don't know that there's a particular um, paradigm under which uh, that falls, but it does seem at the very least, least quizzical. Ah, oh, it's a bucket mouse. Wait, that's not a mouse. How about some fishing, little buddy? Or will we charge you 10 rupees? How about no? You have to have more passion. Live it a little. I'm pretty sure this guy was a mouse back in the original. We have found our first change. And of course, there's a well right there. I hear that when you're running out of hearts, you better go find the big fairy. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. Imagine that. I heard that you can press minus to look at the island map. Not only that, you can stick pins in it with an A and remember stuff with X. But I don't understand what they mean by that. Because you're just a kid, is that the reason? Selecting the item that's right for you. Uh, no. Maybe later. Maps and... You know what? Let's only... Let's, uh, let's check out the one book that's important here. Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Koholint. Do you really want to read it? Gasp, what's this? You can't read the tiny print without the aid of a magnifying glass. But where would you get one of those? Where indeed... 
maybe you lend some people a hand, they'll lend you a lens. Did they really have to spell it out that way? <laughs> Wild. This is a bookshelf. What, you could see that? Okay. What time do we have anyways? No, I see. Okay. And there's some apples on the tree. Tail cave and Torumbo shores. We gotta go to Torumbo. And of course all we can really do is shield up against these guys. Follow the path. Which again is all really you can do. You have no attack options. Wow, this is a lot of uh... It certainly seems more vibrant than in the original. These guys are not going to let me pass, are they? You shall not pass much. We're going to do it. We're going to do it anyways. And here, here he comes. Kipora Gibora. <clears throat> let me make my best owl impression. Hoot hoot. So you are the lad who owns the sword. Oh, that was terrible. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot. Hoot indeed. All right. Well, let's take it. You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. You can swing it with B to attack any enemies in your path. And it is a thing of beauty. So here's my question. This game... I think it's supposed to be chronologically taking place after um, A Link to the Past, which makes me wonder, is this actually the Master Sword? I do believe let Link uh, put the Master Sword back at the end of that adventure. So I wonder if it's just a standard Hyrule Sword. And one thing that... Wow. I'm already gone. Okay. I gotta be more careful here. And of course there's a treasure chest. Nothing too much to see here for now. Let's go back to the village and see what we can do for now. And maybe, um... Okay, so part of the map is actually clearing up, which is good. Memories, markers. Can I just put a memory here? No, can I put a marker? How about that? Pin that with a treasure. Okay, because you know what? I believe there is a treasure there. And I think there's in, this is part of the trade sequence if I'm not mistaken. Welcome to Sale's House of Bananas. I'm Sale, and this is my house. Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I guess it's strange hobbies run in the family. 
Seems like the right voice. Yes, yes, we know Sale. Also, did you know that your name rhymes with mine? Uh, you are Sale and I'm Ailes. You could say they're anagrams. Just exploring the beach area. It's too bad that I don't have a sword beam yet. Beware of sea urchins, don't touch them with your bare hands. Noted. And I do feel like there is at the very least um, a slight telegraphing when the Octorox shooter rocks. It makes me think that maybe they toned down some of the difficulty, but maybe that's a pretty large conjecture at this point. I just want to know that there's a... I think there was a bomb, like an area. Or am I thinking in the... Like there was a hidden cave here, but maybe you can only see it with the magnifying glass. Alas. Alas, ales, alas. Let's see. So we are here still in Toronto Shores. In Toronto Shores. the salubrious shores of Toronto. Ooh, you got a guardian acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. That's cool. So it's like a defense mechanism. Now I remember taking guardian acorns in the old game was great, but at the same time, it forced you to um, read the entire text suggesting what it did and how it did it every single time which was kind of a nuisance but you know what we were kids back then what else did we have time for and i believe this is tail cave and i really wish i could walk faster a keyhole here it says tail keyhole so we actually won't be able to go in here until we find the key. So in terms of the aesthetic here, uh, I'm sure I'm not the first person to suggest this, but this reminds me a little bit of like the Playmobil sets, which is like, uh, I don't know how familiar you guys are with uh, Playmobil, but they're kind of like Duplo Legos. Um, very like um, toy-like stuff. They all have this like, rounded sheen to them, very plasticky. I didn't actually own any of them, but I think some of my cousins did. And that is why I dislike my cousins. But you know what, they're great people, so never mind. What did this say? Okay. Can we actually cut down signs in this game? Maybe not. You can press. Okay, so he's repeating. I wish there was a check mark for the things that you can say to talk to these kids about. Go find a big fairy. And I don't believe fairies were actually a, a part of the original game, so that's that's new. That's new. And of course, up there is the mysterious forest. But before we go there, let's let's go and check out some things in the village. What do you expect? You're gonna break a leg doing that. You've got a piece of heart. Press plus to open the subscreen and see. 
and as you might recall four pieces of heart make up a full heart container so i'll be needing all of those let's go ahead and say that this is going to be a 100 percent completion run even if i have to look up information that is that is fine that is good and fine And that, oh, I guess the nice thing is that it has, this actually shows us what hearts and secret seashells we've found before. Which is something that the old game didn't provide. Talk with Marin. It also saves conversations, huh? Let's see, where am I here? Just a second here, folks. As usual, real life getting in the way. I think we're good. So like once again, let's explore the village. You can't really hurt this thing. But now I can cut grass. The perfect side job. All right, and the dogs, they will attack you if you will fight them. And like I said, maybe one of the things that I wish uh, the game had you do is have like a slightly faster walk. And I know that at some point I'll get the Pegasus boots, which great, but at the same time, I do wish that there was a faster walking animation. Once you get something in the prize area at the trending game, it's yours. We've been trying to win that Yoshi doll for our mom. Hint, hint. And there's some enemies out there. Over the castle on the hill. Trendy game, one play, 10 rupees. Not yet. Not just yet. Though that uh, piece of heart does look tantalizing. I, I wonder if I can just go by the shadow. Let, let's let's go ahead and play. Let's see let's see what this game is about. I knew this game very well back uh, in the Game Boy, but this looks like a completely different setup. The buttons move the crane. The rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons to play. Good luck. So I guess I have to make sure that the crane shadow lines up with the thing that I'm trying to get. Let's see. Move forward and move right. Ooh, there's a slight delay. Ooh, very nice. It actually traps it like a cage, which is uh, fair, I think. Uh, well, how much did I get? You don't have the rupees. Come back when you have the cash. I thought I just won the cash. Yeah, 50 rupees. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, my... Uh, what is it that you speak of, my good man? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get that doll. And that piece of heart. Oof, that was too much. I don't know if it's gonna do it. Oh, come on. That was so close. Do they have to really apply uh, real physics to this? I don't like it. I do not like that. <sighs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Like a gambler, we can't quit. And I think that... 
snatches it. Come on. Come on. You better not drop it. That was wild. That was tense. My heart rate went up. Yes, yes, yes. And I think I have a an idea of how this works. Okay, you better not drop because you're slim. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. I think we're good. Sure, I will give you a holler. And this is the start of the trading sequence. You got a Yoshi doll. You can't count how many games you've seen him on now. Yoshi's cookie is the one. You've got a piece of heart. What a rare find. Okay. Two pieces of heart, and we're pretty good. Whoa, you won the Yoshi doll. We've been trying to do that forever. It wasn't that hard. Our mom is really desperate to have one. Your mom is A-OK -okay with me, kid. And I remember I would uh, spend hours uh, revisiting this grass field just to get more rupees, farm rupees that is. Ooh. The first secret seashell. You find a secret seashell, but what do you do with it? I, I'm pretty sure I will need coins later. Or coins are rather rupees. Oh, I guess the grass grows relatively quickly here. You don't actually have to leave the screen. Let's see, can we actually see how it's growing? See the growth of the grass in action? Maybe not. I just go like this, pull it up here again. You know what? I have no time to watch grass grows. And yet, I still want to see it grow. I don't know. Let's go see Marin and Terran. Who are now nowhere to be found. But now the grass is all back. The grass is back, folks. Guess who's back? Hi, Terran went to the forest to look for taunts toadstools, but I'd rather sing. Listen to this, it's called the Ballad of the Windfish. Okay, so she's going to sing the Ballad of the Windfish, which is certainly not the last song we're going to the last time we're going to hear this song. <clears throat> and again, the shop. I think the thing we need to collect here before we move on is probably... Well, both the heart container as well as the shovel. I think that we won't be able to get arrows until we get the shovel. The shovel knight. Ukuku Prairie and Animal Village, which we don't visit until after, I think, level 4. Hey, kid. Well, it seems that after you save, you will start at the last place you saved. Unless it's a dungeon where you start at the entrance. I'm not really sure what that is, because I'm just a kid. You know, I hear this and I wonder, is this kid just saying this because... The programmers decided to infuse them with this data, and it makes for a very sad tale. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. And I, th 
think um, over yonder north is actually the forest, the mysterious forest, and that's why it's like all like foggy, like a foggy Nelson. Okay, so more doll spots. Is this a stand for something? It says Pokey. Pokey for mother? Mother Pokey. Oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my... Yeah, sure. I have no use for it. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, I will give you this in return. Very nice. You've traded your Yoshi doll for a ribbon. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. I forget who I'm supposed to give the ribbon to, but I'm sure it'll come to mind very soon. With four boys who look alike, even I get confused sometimes. They do look alike, but they all say different speech. Yep, those are my boys. I'm Papal. Pleased to meet ya. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me, you hear? Who, uh, who talks to you the first time around? And then you say, oh, by the way, I'll be, uh... I'll be lost in Venice uh, in about a week, so if you're over there, kindly look out for me. Is this a stand for something? It says Shy Guy. I love these stands. Spiny. Some of these are more well known than others. Well, I am not going to sit around and wait for the um, grind for money. I will just simply go to the uh, forest. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. Oh, and that ribbon. Ah, there we go. I need it. Will you trade it for my dog food? Yes. Lucky, thanks. Well, here's your dog food. Can I say, it's a talking dog. And it's not really a dog, it's a chain chomp. And I vaguely seem to remember somebody who enjoyed the exotic canned foods. You exchange the ribbon for some dog food. It's full of juicy beef. Yip, 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 yip. And I think you can dig this soil eventually. So I guess let's, uh, let's go give that, uh, Let's go give the dog food to that uh, gator. Gator golf. Look at that flip. It's a mighty flip. And longtime viewers of the stream will recall that uh, I was struggling with the original Legend of Zelda. And that's because enemies kind of just did their own thing without, my, without worrying about the fact that you were either blocking them or on their path. Uh, yeah, no, uh, no like tactile feedback for them. This is so much more doable. What's that? You have... It's canned food! For heaven's sake, man, give that to me, please. I'm gonna lose it if I can't get that can. What else am I doing with dog food? Oh, thank you, I'll take that. Beautiful, I'm sure you were a fine collector. Munch, munch, that was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. Makes sense. What else could he give you? Hats? Straw hats? You gave him dog food and got bananas in return. Good deal. I mean, it was okay. Thank you again. That was yummy. One thing about canned uh, food in general, let alone canned dog food, is just the fact that it never expires. Whereas bananas, they'll go brown on you in like two days, so... Buyer beware, you're in for a scare. Hey friend, have you ever ridden the rapids on a raft? You can, near Tata Heights. You ought to try it. Yes, yes, I will try it. Okay, so I think that is the last uh, trading sequence thing that we can do before we 
before we go to the first dungeon. Probably first and second dungeon. Ooh, try piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. Right, and this makes it so that every time you hit an enemy with your sword, they just fly out of the screen. Which is quite nice. It's nice that you have the shield on your shoulder button for this game. Simply because in the old game you actually had to equip it. And while that's uh, functional, it also took away one very useful button that you could use for one of the additional tools. <clears throat> Alright, before we move north, let's go check out that fishing hole. And actually, before we even do that... Hey, come on, guy. It was a mistake. I swear. Orera? Oh. Rira. Bring, bring, Olvera speaking. You know that, uh, yes, we've, we've gone through this. Let's go, let's go. So what do they have here now? Ooh, a secret seashell. And more coins. Do I, should I, could I? Let's give it a shot, shall we? I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's perfectly centered. Once again, hopefully it doesn't fall off the crane in the middle of the grab animation. Ooh, that was so close. Perfect. It almost seemed like it was gonna break the lip of the shell. Yes, hit me again. I'll tell you when I've had enough. Ah, oh, that was a bit much. Come on, come on. There you go. So, is, is this supposed to be another dog? Did I just get a dog? Maybe it's a doll. No. Just give me a holler when you're in the mood strikes to play. Another 20. You got a chow chow figure. There must be somewhere you can display it. Another seashell. Put it in your ear and you hear those whispered secrets. Okay, so... If... It's only gonna give me more dolls, I'm not gonna come back. But I, I wanna see what, what it has. Is that a full heart? It must be just like a single heart, right? They wouldn't simply put like a heart container. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. <sighs> Haven't collected too much more money. Okay, let's uh let's go check out the fishing hole before we move on. <clears throat> And for those of you wondering, we're still enjoying an Rocktoberfest from our friends at Almanac. <sighs> Quite delicious, but it doesn't have the bite that we want. Fish now. Okay, here's how you do it. Hold A and release it to cast your line out. The longer you hold it, the farther you'll cast. Couple issues. Bear with me. You can tug on your line by moving L. If you want to reel it in a hurry, tap 
A really quickly. You've got this little buddy. And I think the trick here was to like launch it as far as possible. You landed a little fish, just like you. It's small, but it has plenty to plenty of fight. What a what a nice compliment. It's a 13.94 inch run. You gotta dream bigger than that. Let's see here, 13 rupees. Is there something caught in its mouth? Beautiful. You got a piece of heart. So I've got three pieces thus far. Sure, why not? Let's clear out the pond. You have to attract them in a very specific way or something. Come on. Is it just not interested? they say papal you landed a little fish just okay is the conversion just like take away the decimal points i feel like it is hey what the that was not what i meant to do okay let's go let's dream big be so lame if he doesn't even try to go for it. I think it's too far away. Do I have to pay again? No. Very nice. Hey, I see a bottle down there. Can I actually get that? What? What just happened? You'll get it next time. Yes! Why did the bottle escape my grasp? I can't even see it. I feel like it's probably between... Wait, why did... I don't get it. Is it because there's a fish in the way? I'm gonna run out of coins, aren't I? Fishing is a patient man's game.
Let's go. Wait. That is... It, it's like the second game that you don't have to worry about when you catch fish, right? I probably don't even have money. Ah, okay, last chance. I could try to get one of the little ones and get more money, but that's not really gonna help out if I have exactly 10. Come here, you. You're wasting my time. Okay, so exactly 10 rupees. Maybe let's try to get this green fish first. Wait a second. Whew. No, I'm out. I am out, dude. I don't think I can come, ca come cast with you if I don't have money. That was frustrating. Just like real fishing. Emulating the real sensation of going fishing. And we lost our 50, which is probably the worst crime here. We could have used that for our shovel. Who? Oh, brave lad. You on your quest to wait the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of the mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholand island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Hoot. How mysterious. Almost like Harry Potter. Okay. And I think this is I think this is where we uh we where we take no nah, wait a sec maybe, maybe let's wait a few a few more minutes before we take our break. Haven't finished my first beer, that's sad. It is sad that we haven't finished the first beer. 2.45. Oh gosh, wait. Pretty basic uh, block and attack. So let's go ahead and mark our map. Let's stick a pin right here. If I'm putting my shield up, it seems like I can still swipe with my sword, which is nice. So there's treasure there, and we are very interested in treasure. Beware of floors with cracks, don't get too comfortable on them. Where do you get your limitless spears? The same place from where Goldberg gets them. Jellies. Jealous jellies. Hmm. 
Okay. So a forest meadow and a grave. Ooh, fairy fountain. Some respite. You still got plenty of pet. Come to see me when you feel like you can't go on. So I'm assuming that she only gives you health whenever you are running low. Oh, this guy has a shield. What are those guys? Of course, there's a rock here. And a digging spot right here. Can I pin this? Is there like a shovel? What's a good shovel? Clovers kind of look like... No, wait. Spades kind of look like shovels. We can't really cross this until we have the feather, the feather of rock. Pretty simple combat thus far. Which is how we like our games. Call and Prairie. Now, uh, I could simply go this way and get magic powder, which is ultimately what I need here. And thus I will do that. What's a heart? There we go, heart. Oh, ha. Uh, you shouldn't do that. I have learned my lesson. Pain taught me a lesson. Crazy Tracy and Mambo's Pond. And there's the gravestone that we saw before. Ooh, and this candelabra seems to have gone without light. Double, double, toil and trouble. A toadstool mix makes powder for tricks. I believe that rhymes. So we have to find a toadstool for her. This reminds me of Mumbo's cave or Mumbo's hut from the highly acclaimed Banjo-Kazooie. Which we did play before, if anyone's interested. Somebody's watching this stream and they say, they think, Oh, hey, he played Banjo-Kazooie. I'm going to stop watching this and watch that instead. Oh, come on. Are you waiting to to launch? You lose. Okay, and I believe we can't go that way. No. open them up for attacks if you use your shield first. Okay, 
Okay, let's go in here. Bats. Shattery crystals. And of course, you don't want to be on those uh, cracked floors for too long, of course. Maybe grabbing this here was not a, such a great idea. Oh, there you go. I knew it. Treasure. 50 rupees. Very nice. Uh, let's reset the cave. See if we can actually cross. those things are uh, limited by time as opposed to number of screens green blobs and of course the mystery of the puzzle but I think things are easier once you get the power bracelet let me give it a shot anyways I don't think you can actually do this without being able to lift those skulls. So once again, let me mark this area. Can you imagine that you block somebody with your shield and then they just immediately go wide open. You pick the toadstool as you hold it over your head. A mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. And I believe we are at full. Can't really cross over there until we have the rock's feather either. Sure had a lot of uh, bottomless pits in this island. again consequences nice nice big brain that is no good The one important thing we haven't done here yet is encounter the raccoon. Sly Cooper, that is. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Well, thank you for letting me know. I wonder how it is I will overcome you. Truth be told, as a kid, I spent over a month trying to figure this particular puzzle out. Stay tuned for the answer. Hey, <laughs> oh, you're gonna be lost thanks to me, haha. <laughs> and we have been warped. We are warped. Fairy fountain, of course. Let's go find that witch. Season of the witch it is. Guardian Aqua. 
one. Heed my light. No can do. Sorry, too much of a habit trying to cut every single piece of grass. Where are we in terms of... Okay. Ah, I forgot that you can't uh, bump up against those. Beautiful. All my love too long ago. Ah, it has the sleepy toadstool it does. We'll mix it up something in a jiffy we will. It's all ready it is. Take care as there's not much there. Why not I try a bit in my hut? It is indeed the magic powder. Open the subscreen with plus and set it to either X or Y. Uh huh. Double, double, toil and trouble. The toast still mix. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can actually equip this. Uh, let's go with Y. Because why not, like Hillary Duff once said. Good job. Use it on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some toadstools, and I will make you more. Come back without a toadstool, and you may have to pay a price for my leftovers. I think I will pick mushrooms for the time being. And of course, famously... I'm a change blob, and that's not all I have to say. So, why does he actually change? I, I don't know that I ever got an answer from the game. Now that I have lips, I fantasize about playing one of these island's hot songs on a flute. There are three hot local hits. How interesting. All three of those bloppy blobs are magic, literally. If no other tool would do the job, pull out some of those songs you got stuck in your head. Great. How much? Okay. I think you're repeating now. Let's go. Let's go find that. Uh... Somebody was on a rush. Let's go find that uh, Thebanus Raccoonus. direction of course nice and you know what let's uh, let's leave it right here uh, we're gonna go on a short break here seven eight minutes I gotta take young boy churro out but we will back with the exciting conclusion of uh, the raccoon Pompoco Anyways, we will be right back. Let's go with...
<clears throat> and welcome back to the Ales and Fails Twitch stream. I'm your host, Ale Wolf, otherwise known as Ales, Gentleman Streamer, the excellence of an execution, good old Beer Goggles 21. And welcome back to the stream. We're in the middle of our Retro Wrath Scalar Corner and we are playing The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for uh, the Nintendo Switch. This is my first playthrough through this game that I've played a number of times on both the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. And we're having a pretty good time. Uh, we've entered the forest, the uh, Lost Woods, Forest of Illusion, Secret Maze. I don't know what it's called. It's one of those. And we're about to showdown with the raccoon. But of course, before we do that, let's open up one more can before our trip is over. This one, is uh, a la piña from our friends at Blue Oak Brewing, and we do love our friends at Blue Oak Brewing. This is a sour ale with pineapple and coconut, and it is only 7.5% alcohol by volume. Now what exactly is a sour ale, you might be asking yourself. Well, a sour ale uh, is an ale, an ale beer, uh, made using souring agents, and the souring agents most prominently used in beers uh, is either yeast or bacteria. Uh, traditionally in Belgium, uh, I think that's where it originated at least, uh, you would use specifically uh, Brettanomyces yeast to ferment a beer. And what you would do is you would open up your fermenting tank out in the woods, or not the woods, but the, the fields, and let the natural yeast in the air ferment your beer. You know, very complex flavors. Uh, commercially these days, though, what you actually tend up uh, end up doing is um, you simply put uh, use lactobacillus, which is a type of bacteria uh, generally found in things like yogurt and sour milk, to create your souring agents, and those are called kettle sours, I believe. Uh, so they are delicious. They're certainly not not as delicious as uh, traditional beers, from my perspective. But you know what? Things change, things evolve. There's some delicious sour ales out there. But uh, that those are my thoughts on it. Let's see what Untapped has to say on the matter. Let's see, a la pina. A la pina. Okay. And let's go over here. <laughs> Okay, by Blue Oak Brewing Sour. It's a fruited, juicy, tropical sour brew with Hawaiian pineapple and coconut. So it's got some fruit beer. Generally, when I see fruit listed as part of the beer concoction, it generally means that it, chunks of fruit were actually, were actually thrown into the fermentation tank to allow the yeast to actually sample it and create alcohol from it. It is what you would call an adjunct. But let's go ahead and pour this guy. Let me just uh, rinse my palate with some water before I do that. Always taste your drinks fresh, folks. Don't like the flavor of something else color you're tasting. And so it pours clear, maybe a little hazy. I might just shake this one up just in case there's any residue at the bottom. It seems like that might have paid off. <laughs> so very juicy tropical. Very certainly a, a lot of pineapple on the nose here. Some light vanilla-ish type notes. Yeah, kind of just like a fresh juice, maybe like a French orange juice flavor. Fang and nail, dear viewer. So, relatively sweet, I like it. Not like uh, candy sweet, but it's, uh, moderately sweet. Very strong notes of pineapple as well on the mouth, on the mouth feel. I feel like that vanilla-ish type of nose that I sensed was actually the coconut, which is there, but it's not, it's a little bit uh, moderated. It's a, bit, a little bit limited. No real uh, bittering notes here. Another another sweeter beer, which is nice. 
in terms of the souring notes they are there but they are gentle they're flavorful i want to say that this is nothing overpowering i like this a lot it is a very balanced sour ale i like it a lot i'm pretty sure that this is probably a, a kettle sour and it is probably one of my favorite kettle sours so let's go ahead and rate this before we move on no rating this is already a three five can you stop giving me land of the free okay so with that let's go ahead and update our ticker here Get back to the action with more Link's Awakening. And just a second here. And of course he's gonna throw us deep into the maze, but we're gonna stop him by doing this. he's out. The last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was fun. How interesting. It seems like uh, you were high. I'm all tuckered out. I think I better set a spell before I head home. So you're just gonna hang out. Yeah, why not? And we hit a hundred. And here's our treasure chest. The tail key. You got it, the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave gate. The owl of the hour. Hoot, take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The wind fisher is waiting. Hoot! He's gonna be waiting a while. Okay. So we cross the forest. Kaponga Swamp and Mysterious Forest. How much can we do in the swamp, really? And it's another telephone. It's kind of unfortunate that the only thing that we can call, the only one that we can call is Old Man Old Rera. Yes, yes, I know the library. To the local library, everyone. Danger, keep out, except Bow Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, plants that you can't really get past without Bow Wow here. Oh, come on, I didn't get a single one. Sharks in a swamp, that's my question. Oof. Yes, you can't really get past a lot of this stuff. Oh gosh. Yeah, I think uh I think we're moving on. I don't really think we can do much here. 
Those things travel far. Okay, let's go. I haven't even saved yet. Can I actually manually save? Great, I have saved. And those are like likes which unfortunately eat our shields. Hopefully we can get the shovel before going to the tail cave. Just because that's the only way to get bombs before we go to the tail cave. Okay. Let's try and get another mushroom before we... The nice thing about the pieces of power or acorns is that we actually walk very fast, which is a very big plus in this game. How dare you, sir. Still can't heal our wounds. <sighs> what are the chances we can find a quick way to make cash? Maybe either via the trendy game or the fishing game. But I do think that the, the fishing game is going to take a while longer. Oh, I didn't go into the cave, did I? I wonder if it actually pops up. Come on. I just lost all those. Not well met. I was hoping that I would at least have four pieces of heart before the next dungeon. I might be able to do that if I learn the mechanics of the fishing game though. What? Wow, I am really doing badly here. Okay, so we'll save that for later. See here, let's go back. Watch out. These guys move so erratically. Ugh. Let's go.
Okay, we are in a better spot. And I think we are out of the mysterious forest. We could get more rupees with the trendy game. Let's see. Yeah, let's try and get those rupees. What is in that bag? That's interesting. Okay, I forget what the reds are f worth. Let's do it. And I'm going to say that that heart in the middle of the screen is nothing more than a single heart. What? What? I have been cheated. I have been cheated. No, of course not. That's ridiculous. Ah, oh, 20. I essentially just wasted my time here. I wonder if the prices change when you go back in and out. No, they don't. Uh, I'll figure it out later. I honestly don't feel like saving enough for the shovel. Let's sit in here. Okay, let's uh, let's go to the tail cave. I wonder if there's an actual limit to the wall that I'm currently holding. I wonder if uh, the enemies in Koholint Island are supposed to be, uh, how do you say, native to the island or if they were uh, brought in. That doesn't make sense. Maybe uh, maybe uh, Octoroks are just native to all, all parts of the Zelda world. Mystery has been solved. Okay. Let's step inside. Certainly looks more ominous than back in the Game Boy days. Nice, nice. You got a small key, it can open a locked door. Is that it? 
And it is the compass. Now you can see chest and a nightmare and hid are hidden. It also has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is nearby. If only all compasses did that. Okay, so the map has become the dungeon map. the treasures one more key oh no piece of power Very nice. And finally, we have the map. Uh, give me a second here. So what does this look like? And of course it looks like a tail monster. We could go up, but that's a one-way turnstile. break sorry I just smelled something funky and then I realized that churro was in the room if you know you know a tail monster I'm assuming I won't be able to get a bomb, which is unfortunate. I wanted to get whatever's behind those doors. It's almost like you're hitting um, plushies or something. <clears throat> 20 rupees joy one more key ah oh, great I don't think those things can be terminated until you get the boomerang here I gotta say for as unfamiliar as some of these hallways are they do feel very familiar ooh and it's an owl statue the beakless statue is saying something you can't make it out how about this What? Underground passage. 
and of course you can't really s uh, understand what the statue is saying without its beak you can't even read lips where are we here okay Here's the Mario section of the game. Nice. Let's go, 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 go. <clears throat> and I think this is the area that was outlined by the map, yeah. Big chest. You've got the rock's feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. Okay, so let's uh, equip the rock's feather. Nice. Look at that. Wait, did I get hit? It's kind of fun, it's like a somersault almost. I don't know that it's got the same arc as uh, Mario's jump, but it is, at the very least, comparable. So even if they're lying prone, I can't touch them. That's a bit obnoxious. Oh great, I wasted magic powder. I should unequip magic powder actually. Can I just not have it? There we go. Let's put the rock's feather back on X. The threat of the fuzzy tail beast. There's a key there. Oh no, my coins. Can't really tackle these guys. One more key for our troubles. The boss's key. Now you can open the door to the nightmare's lair. Which is where we are headed. This is where that turnstile would have led us. These guys are so flighty. Can't really go back that way.
Oof. Hey. Oh, darn. Let's go in here. Oh, I forgot about this. Get over here, you. And down you go. Boom. What? And I think this sends us back to the beginning, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. How come I didn't go up in that last... Okay. That was close. Oh, huh. I remember these things are frustrating. Have to get the same symbol. There we go. And the owl's beak. You found the stone beak, now to find an owl statue to fit it into. Turn aside the spine ones with a shield. I think I got that. I think I got that. But thank you. Okay, in terms of completion, there's just this one particular chest right here that we didn't get to. Which is fine, we'll come back to it once we have uh, bombs. And there's one more hidden passageway before we actually go into the Nightmare's Lair. But I think actually this might be where you get thrown after you lose a round with the Tail Beast. So I might be seeing this a lot. <clears throat> Let's rumble. Buzz buzz outsider. that we don't get pushed off. Nice. Wow. A nails and fails classic. Ah, finally a heart container. It's been so long. You got a heart container. Your maximum number of hearts increased. Sorry about that, folks. And your health has been refilled, too. The Full Moon Cello.
like a rose on the grave. Okay, we did it. Let me uh, let me mark this with a chest since I know that I have to come back once I've got bombs. Uh, how did we do this again? Okay, tail cave. Can I pin this? I don't think I can do markers on a tail cave itself. Uh, I guess I'll just have to remember to do it. Or maybe I'll just put a marker right here. What's a good bomb? Uh, hmm. Circle seems as good as anything. Hoot, that is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north in Gaponga Swamp. Hoot indeed. Okay, at least now we have the power of jump. <clears throat> the jump man cometh. I still have to work on the jump on the timing of this though. Oh wait a second. Hey buddy, it's serious, yeah, real serious. Yeah, the mo the moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of moblins. Then, it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with moblins. So, I mean, ah! It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Uh, it might, yes. Aye! It's terrible, my Bow Wow was dognapped by moblins. Ah, please somebody help my poor Bow Wow. Uh, I think we will do that. But that'll have to be something we do next time. And of course Terran is back. Back to his old hijinks of sleeping. Mm, snore, huh? If it ain't... Don't know, call old man Rira. Zonk snore. Sleeping in the middle of the day. The shame. But I think I think we call it right here. I think this is where we end it. It's unfortunate that we have to end it in this particular tone. Okay. So we save it there. And let's see, what's a good intermission here? Uh, let's go with... This. Let's go with clarity. <clears throat> and that was the Ails and Fails Twitch stream for today. Thursday. November 2nd, I believe it is the 2nd, yes. Uh, kind of a short stream, I, I know. Sorry about uh, getting here late. Um, like I said, life sucks kind of gets in the way. Hopefully you enjoyed that Link's Awakening stream. Uh, it's been nice to play a game that, like I said, I am fairly familiar with. I don't know that I feel challenged just yet. There's a few mechanics that I feel like I have to wrap my head around, including uh, the fishing game as well as the trendy game, but uh, that's okay, we'll, we'll get there. Now I feel like uh, I probably don't only need to grind E-Crystals for Mega Man Zero, but now I need to grind Rupees for both the uh, shovel and I know that the bow is coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, but if you like this sort of nonsense, if you like this sort of hijinks, tune in tomorrow. I'll be doing another short stream. I'll be streaming some Hades. 
I've been uh, trying to beat the game with different weapons and I'm currently working on beating the game with Karnacht, the heart seeking bow. So that's tomorrow at 12, around 12 p Pacific Standard Time. I'm gonna say that there's also a, a very fair chance that I will be late for it, but you know what? Maybe I won't be. Maybe everything will work out okay. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, thank you very much for your support. Very much appreciate your time today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And as I like to say, stay thirsty, Alpac. We will see you 